What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Light Platinum with the Roshing Redemption. In the last episode, we beat the Water Elite Four member Triton, I think his name was. Yeah, well, it was right on the screen there, so yeah. Um, anyways, and in this episode, we're going to be moving on to the third member of the Elite Four, um, who I believe uh, has Dark type Pokemon. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember. So we're going to leave with Zaheer. I think it's finally Zaheer's time to, time to shine. Hello, I'm Lucia, known by money as the Dark Lady. Looks like I was right. I trained in Darta City for a long time to develop this style. Prepare to face the power of Dark Pokemon. Ooh. I really love Dark type Pokemon. Dark and Ghost type Pokemon are really cool types, in my opinion. Uh, not too generic, pretty unique. But anyway, she's gonna leave with a Houndoom. Uh, and this thing is really scary. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna cross chop it. Oh, shoot. And Zaheer isn't really, like, incredibly fast, which is bad, so we might have to. Revive some people this battle and we're definitely gonna have to at this rate. Jeez, uh, that's not a good start Um, I'm not really sure what to do actually uh, We're actually gonna go ahead and go into Gazan and try and surf this thing because uh, we do resist flamethrower Gazan might be able to do good work on uh, this dark lady person's team. Hopefully What's her name again Lucia? Okay, that's an interesting name. Anyway, we're gonna surf uh, I'm not sure if this will straight Oko. It'll do a lot of damage, though, definitely. Uh, I mean, Houndoom Special Defense isn't bad, yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's not like freaking Alakazam's Physical Defense. That is just crap. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna Dragon Claw. Alright, well, she's gonna full restore, uh, but I think this thing will go down into to two Dragon Claws or another Surf, uh, either way. But yeah, so that's one member out of the way, which is good. But I don't think Gazan can handle the, her, the entirety of her team, uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. Because um, we're not going to be able to do much to Dark types. Uh, maybe Dragonclaw will do a good amount to some of her, some of her Pokemon. We'll see. Scrafty. Oh, shoot. Uh, we're going to have to handle this with Tenzin, probably. Um, it really sucks that Toxicroak missed Cross Chop. Because that would have killed that Houndoom. Um, yeah, and, and I, I wish I could have found a better fighting type move, but holy crap, that is a high level. We're actually going to start off in Toxic, this thing. I'm really scared of Scrafty. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have Dragon Dance in this game. If it does, we might just be boned. <laughs> high Jump Kick, oh god. Oh, what a beast! Tenzin! Oh man, that did nothing. Tenzin is just sitting there like, oh, did something bite me? Anyway, I think some Glides combined with the Toxic damage should be more than enough. Glide! Oh, good thing we glided. That would have been scary. <laughs> if it had done that first turn, it would have been bad. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we toxic it, because uh, I think it'll be a 2 hit KO combined with a poison. Uh, glide will be, that is. So yeah, and we're getting some nice recovery here as well. Oh, crap. Shoot. We'll try another glide here. Yeah, I'm glad we attacked. I just, I don't want it to get off Focus Punch. That would be really bad, uh, definitely. Shoot, okay. Alright, we're just gonna keep going for Glide. Uh, I think that's our best play. I do not want it to get off a of Focus Punch, for sure. Um, and I think we can 3 a KO, so that's good. Yes, okay. Good thing this thing is stupid. It could've wrecked us if it wanted to. Um, well, not wrecked us, but it could've done some good damage with High, with high Jump Kick, so. Although I don't think High Jump Kick is nearly as powerful in this game. I think it's only like 90 power or something. Oh, lord. Haunch <laughs> Uh, Zula actually can probably just one-shot this thing, uh, but Honchko is still scary. Good thing Sucker Punch isn't in this game. That makes it considerably less scary, to be honest. But yeah, uh, Thunderbolt. I think this thing is dead, I want to say. I don't know, it's tough, it's difficult to, <laughs> it's difficult to say. Alright, good, good, good. This thing gives me a heart attack every single time I face it, I swear to god. Just because it's so powerful. Umbreon, oh shoot, uh... I think our best bet is Zaheer here. I mean, yeah. I was hoping Zaheer would do more of this fight, but missing that cross chop did not help. Uh, so yeah. I think a cross chop will do good damage to, to Umbreon though, so. Yep, okay, we got it off. It won't Oko, it'll do a lot though, definitely. Okay, good, sweet. Mean look, okay, I'm actually gonna Swords Dance here predicting the heal. Uh, hopefully she heals. Yes, okay, good. Wow, and now we are primed to just, like, utterly destroy her with a cross chop. And hopefully whatever comes next. Although, that might not necessarily be the case if it outspeeds us, so, yeah. Hopefully it's not like a Crooked Owl. That would probably wreck us. 
All right, we actually hit two in a row, which is incredible. <laughs> Hitting two 80% accuracy moves in a row. Who would have thought? Although the chances of that are not as high as people would, uh, as you would think, right? A lot of people say, oh, if I go for an 80% accurate move like four times in a row, I should hit every time, which is really not true because, like, if you use it twice in a row, the chances of you, uh, uh, we're just gonna go for Sludge Bomb here, actually. Um, but if you if you hit it, uh, the chance of you hitting an 80% accurate move twice in a row is only like 64%. So I mean, it's not really that high. Uh, pretty much the same chances, uh, a little lower than hitting Focus Blast. So anyway. In fact, I think you have a less than a 50% chance of hitting Focus Blast uh, twice in a row. And she said we have a lot of experience, which is cool. <laughs> anyway, there's one member of the Elite Four left and the champion uh, that still await your challenge. Use the Wisdom of Dark Pokemon. I will do that! We do have Hydreigon after all. Uh, and Tenzin, so I clearly have a very dark-oriented team. Um, anyways, guys, uh, th as usual, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, and don't worry, I will be uploading another one of these today. So don't worry, you will get more content. Um, the common question of the day is, who is your favorite dark type trainer slash elite four member slash gym leader? Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna pass on this answer here. But you guys definitely let me know what you think on that. Uh, so anyways, I'll see you in the next episode of Pokemon Light Platinum.